Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to configure Azure Active Directory authentication in Azure SQL Managed Instant. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. Alright, I am logged on to the portal and this is my SQL Managed Instant. So if I go to Active Directory Admin, they say Managed Instance needs permission to access Azure Active Directory. Click here to grant read permissions to your Managed Instance. So I'll click on here. I click on grant permissions. It says successfully updated manage instance active directory read permissions. So I now have the read permissions. Now it says Azure Active Directory authentication only. So it says only Azure Active Directory will be used to authenticate to the manage instance. SQL authentication will be disabled. So it make sure that when you check this option, you will say no Azure AD administration on manage instance. In order to enable this, an Azure AD admin must be set. You click on OK and then you set up this option set admin, right? And you look for uh, the user, let's say if I So I can use uh, my ID here and I can click on select. So this will be, this admin will be used and my Azure Active Directory authentication will be used. My SQL authentication would be disabled. Okay, not checking this. I'm just letting you know how this would work. Now, now if you go here and you try to copy it, you open up SQL Server Management Studio and you type in the server name here and and you enter the password if i hope i remember it let's wait if it connects or not i'm going to pause the video you see this error message it is not able to connect to it because of the network related problem okay okay this is because we need to make some changes in the nsg okay let me cover that part in the next video because i just wanted to show you about the azure ad authentication and azure active directory admin here so let me cover this part in the next video and we'll take it from there. Thank you. Have a good day.